welcome to the video tutorial series on C panel. Okay, so till now we have seen about in the last session we have seen about the databases. Okay, so next we are going to see about software and services. So there are different softwares and services provided by different hosting service providers. Okay, which are being <coughs> populated here. Okay, so like in this C panel you can see like base kit, site builder, CGI center, site software, Perl modules. So there are different kind of, uh, let's say kind of a resources the hosting service provider is giving you. Okay, so it makes your work quite easier. Okay, don't make it, uh, you don't do it, but it makes it easier. Okay, so the way you can manage your website, manage, you can create, if you want to create a new website in PHP, then you might like to know about PHP configuration, you might be uh, like to use this base kit, this site builder, okay, I don't want to uh, deep into all these things, as they are entirely different topics in themselves, okay, they are just integrated on the cPanel, okay, so the developers will uh, get all required ideas from here, okay, <clears throat> the one one thing which I will go through is Softaculous, okay, Softaculous is a very good tool okay like you if you are creating a wordpress website or a joomla drupal presta shop open cart or any magento kind of websites okay so for that you need a basic installation like if you want to create a wordpress website you need a wordpress installation to be done on your hosting package okay one way is like to do it manually okay so you uh, go to the wordpress website download the package you come to your uh, um, cpanel in put that push those files, create a database and then install it over there. Okay. So it is a time consuming task and even might take some good expertise to install the WordPress. Okay. But if you are uh, if you're not aware, not much technically aware and still you want to go ahead with this, so the software class tool will help you. Here within the clicks of buttons you can install any kind of software. Okay. So I'll go with <coughs> WordPress. So I'll show you how you how to can install uh, WordPress software here. Okay. If you want to uh, install WordPress, there are, uh, even you can click over from there or you can come to blocks here. Okay, here also you will get an option to install a WordPress. Okay, so if you click on WordPress, you will be coming up here. So if you have already installed some WordPress installation on your web server, okay, you will be able to see in the overview section here. That will come only if you have installed it using Softaculous. Okay, if you have installed manually, it will not be appearing here. Okay, so if you want to install this, you can come to install, okay, install and here you will be able to see some certain options like you can choose a protocol if you have HTTPS, uh, SSL certificate already you can select for HTTPS, otherwise you can go for HTTP, okay, there is a difference between HTTP and www dot, so that we will be discussing in some other session, okay, you can look for, the, look into this channel, you might find some video related to this, okay. You have to choose the domain if you have multiple domains hosted on this uh, server. Okay, then you have to choose the directory if you want to install it in the root directory. You have to leave it empty. If you want to create it in some particular directory, then you have to write the directory name. The directory must not exist. You should not create a directory and then come and write its name here. Okay, <coughs> then you can write over here my the site name, site description. Uh, then you can uh, write the username which you wish, and the password which you want. Okay, then the admin email ID here on which you want to get the notifications related to this installation. Okay, you can select the language here, login attempts uh, thing. Okay, then in advanced option, even you can select the database name. You can uh, select your own customized database name if you wish to. Otherwise, it will create a default database. Okay, and the table prefix you can choose from here whether you want to make a big backup or not. So, there are several options which you can select from here and click the install button as soon as you click this install button it will install wordpress on your hosting package and then you can start using it with the username and password which you have given over here so this is how uh, softaculous is going to help you in installing different scripts here okay so it has all different kind of scripts okay like your block creation just a minute i will show you once okay like block creation you have wordpress and other blogging features micro blogging you have things like portals and CMS, you have Drupal and Joomla, all these stuff you have here. Okay, for related to e-commerce, you have it here like uh, Open Cart, Abenta Shop, Presta Shop. Okay, so almost all the stuff which you need to create a script CMS related website is available here. Okay, <coughs> next we'll come see up in the coming session. 